Uh, we are getting a truck delivery. <music> Bought a truck off an auction called GAA Auctions out of Georgia. And uh, it's a 72 K10 four x four with a lift on it. And there it is right there. So it didn't come all that way on that truck. Uh, it was on a much larger truck and then this is just their delivery vehicle. Um, but we had to get a big truck. We kind of encountered some problems along the way trying to get this truck picked up from the auction. First guy that went out there went like right at the close of business. They started the truck, pulled it up next to his trailer. And I don't know if it wouldn't fit or what, but he said he couldn't get the truck started even though the auction said they delivered it to him running. So sent the next guy there. The truck was a little too big, wouldn't fit on his trailer. So this is the third transport company. Um, and they actually got it started. They said the uh, there was just the uh, solenoid wire wasn't hooked up to the starter. It was just hanging across the, start of the, the top of the starter. So um, now it's here. Look at this thing. This truck looks incredible. That's a seven inch lift if my memory serves. Yeah, that's a cool looking truck. So it's an LS swap 72 uh, K10 four x four truck. We've never done a four x four truck at Restomods. Um, it's a really cool truck. I can't wait to drive it. The interior is super nice. Uh, I believe it's like a nice bench seat on it. Um, you can see right now the suspension all work all looks awesome. It just looks really fun. I got, I'm overcome with this urge to like go mudding. <laughs> Are we going mudding in this? 100%. Yeah. Is the sizzle in a mud? The mud Ooh, mud sizzle. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Should we shoot a mud bog sizzle with this truck? And what should we name it? 72 K10, 7 inch lift, 35 inch BFG all, all terrains, um, LS swap. Should have plenty of power. How heavy is it? Is it a one man job? Bad. All right. Yeah. All right, so we got the tailgate. They said they wanted to take the tailgate off because uh, when they were strapping it up, they just didn't want to scratch it. You can see the paint job's pretty awesome on this. So I'm gonna go put this down. We'll get this truck unloaded and then we'll check it out. I love this thing. This thing's cool, right? Yeah. Did you ever order that accessory drive I mean, you did? I didn't bother to look where the fuel tank is. I wonder if it's still behind the seat. I don't know, there's no other caps there, but. I think that's part of the look though, yeah? I mean, I don't see it. Still behind the seat. You dropped your tie. Oops. Well, I wanted to dress up for you today, Jeremy. Dang, now I blew it. Dude, this thing is awesome. I want to go rip it immediately. Yeah. Just leave the tailgate off for a yeah, while. Guys. There's no cars. Let's just go look at it. Oh, it's like too nice. Yeah, the painted bed. Like, I don't even want to put anything you're not in there. Use this bed. It's too nice. Okay, another question for you guys. Should we spray a bed liner? Bed or should we just get like one of those rubber mats at least, right? Yeah, something to kind of protect this fresh paint. I don't know if this is a feature or? Uh, probably from. Yeah, taking the, the taking the, the tailgate off. I'm guessing it's one of these, yeah. Oh, there's a whole. Put this in your pocket. There's a whole piece here that. Yeah, it's missing. Yeah. Do you want to just go see if it's in that bundle? Yeah, well. It's or not maybe if he's got it. Well, it should be somewhere. Should yeah, be, should be. It was uh, this driver, oh, so okay. not this driver necessarily, but the guy who drove it from Georgia. Oh, dude, it's so cool. Watch out, Jeremy. Don't get run over. Yeah, that doesn't close, right? There's a fuel tank back there. Fuel tank still here? Fuel tank still there. Might need a little adjustment there. C10 door for closing. Yeah, um, weird. Dude, I love how tall this thing is. It's taller than me. Uh, here, do you want to inspect and I'll go grab these guys to check actually. Sure. We're just looking Walk me around and stuff, I guess, right? Yeah, absolute transport. All right, this guy right here will sign for you. Mostly just, I guess just the exterior stuff.
What is that? Uh, this is six liter LS engine out of like a newer truck, like a 2000 Chevy truck. Is this like Blue's brother? Mm-hmm. Yeah, same engine that's in Blue. So I should have no issues with this. It's gonna be a nice, reliable engine. Looks like it's got headers. Some upgraded plug wires, so that's good. I think internally and uh, computer-wise, it's probably all stock, so. So straight headers or? It's just headers and mufflers. No, I mean like we should go no. straight headers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering so. Oh, they yanked it right out of the dash. Yeah. Uh, hop in there with them, Jeremy. So it looks like it's missing the ashtray. We'll have to put this back. And Those AC controls to... are pretty bright. Yeah, that's an old air product. Old gauges. Yeah, we'll have to maybe restore the needles at least, or maybe put some a fresh set of gauges in there. Maybe some digital gauges. Yeah. Looks like a new sound system in there. Yeah. Uh, it's got some kind of speakers. Yeah. A little retro. What is it, retro sound? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. You can Those things are cool. That's what we have in blue. Connect to your Bluetooth. Yeah. The vents here. You got any the gas? A little bit. There's a little bit, assuming it's accurate. Do you guys want to spin around the block? I'll meet you in the garage. Yep. Hey, it closed. Yay. <laughs> Ooh. It finally closed. See, I love how tall this is. I can finally, like, we're eye <laughs> to eye, eye level. <laughs> it's the only time I've ever been eye to eye with you. Dude, this thing is cool. Let's see how it drives. Yeah. Give us the report. I'll meet you in the garage. Ooh, I'm liking it already. Not bad. Everything seems pretty smooth so far. The ride's pretty nice. Steering is a little vague, but it's pretty common for a 4x4 truck of this era. Ooh, it's got some pick up. Yeah. Not bad. Brakes feel good. But most of our vehicles. So, like comparing this to most of our vehicles is tough because most of the things we modify, we make them like a lot faster and handle better and all that stuff. This is just a kind of a different vibe, you know, this thing just has to kind of do well and be safe, but it's like capable in other ways, you know, like off-road capability is there if you would choose to go. So I don't know, a freshly restored black truck, I don't think I'm going to be slinging too much mud all over this thing, but it's just got a whole different vibe. So as long as it drives well and is safe, it feels pretty good so far. Just this is like a little around the block jaunt that we did. Pull it in the garage. The fuel pump is loud, so we might upgrade the fuel system on this. Go with a Phytech, maybe move the tank to the back. It just seems much bigger than it is because it's tall. Runs good? Yeah. Looks good. Stock LS. Perfect. Don't need too much more of that. No. Gonna need some weather stripping here. Yeah, it looks like the door seals are brand new. Yeah, the window seals not so much. Looks good. There's the report. GAA classic cars. Tuxedo black, that's what we got. Man, this thing looks cool. I kind of want to do like a front, like, Cattle guard. Like, can we put big red longhorns? Ooh. 
a set of long Like horns. legit horns on the front? Yeah. Hey, I think that would look good on the Chevelle too, just. It looks good everywhere. I was thinking more like a, like a cattle guard here and then some kind of like bigger bumper. Pretty, pretty mean looking. I think it's super cool. That thing's super cool too. So is this. 67 is still getting mini tubbed. 69 was out yesterday. What did you guys do yesterday, Jeremy? We had some fun yesterday. We took out a lot of our cars and we took them to an airstrip, closed it down, and uh, just let these cars eat a little bit. I saw some of the early shots of the 69. How'd it do out there? That car is scary. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is scary. It's scary inside, it's scary outside. Outside, it looked smooth. Inside, the drivers looked like busy and kind of intimidated. Yeah, I mean, it It sounds rowdy, it looks rowdy, it, and it can keep up with some modern modern American muscle. Did it keep up or did it win? Well, I guess, oh, sorry, sorry, I, I ruined his teaser. Uh, stay tuned, what stay do we tuned. say in the business? Stay, stay tuned, you'll, you'll see. Yeah, we're gonna have all that stuff uh, edited up and uh, up on the YouTubes pretty soon. But this thing is just, it looks so pretty. All right, what do we think? Uh, so there's little things I want to do to it, obviously. Gauges. Yeah, we always want to make them like really, really nice. So even though this truck is super nice, we always have to do a little something to them, you know? We can't leave them alone. But other than that, like it drives and feels really solid. It's a nice truck. Somebody did a good job restoring it. That's the basics. We can just make a couple tweaks here and there. And I think... Yeah. Uh, Solid body and it's black. It's a short bed, you know, four by four. It's got everything we want. LS engine. I don't know. Just looking at it, I was like, oh, I immediately want to jump in the driver's seat and drive this truck around. Do it. Where is the pop So this thing's a 72. It's titled as a 72. Um, and it's a K10, obviously, 4x4. Four four. Um, but the VIN's a little interesting. If you look up the 67 to 72 VIN numbers, they're supposed to start with either a C or a K. Our starts with a CK, um, which is kind of interesting. This is the original factory plate. You can see the riveting on here. Um, looks original, um, but they didn't start doing the C and the K until 73. Um, and 73, the first digit would be the brand identifier. So C would be for Chevy, T would be for GMC, and then the K would be the chassis identifier for the four by four. So we think it might be a, um, like a late 72, um, and maybe they switched doing that. So do you guys know anybody in the comments, let us know. Uh, if anybody's an expert in these um, CK trucks, uh, if they changed in late 72, because this is titled as a 72, um, but uh, sold as a K10. The badging over here says C10, um, so I'm not sure about that. But um, yeah, if anybody knows, maybe late 72, they switched over to that different type of VIN where they have the... Uh, the first two digits, the first one's the brand identifier, second one's the chassis identifier. So let me know in the comments if I'm right about that. A lot of trucks, all the original like stuff as far as options in the VIN and stuff is on a sticker here. Um, but since this truck was repainted, this sticker is is gone. But that's also not like a hard part. It's easy to swap a glove box door, but yeah. So that would have told us a little more too about the original options this specific truck had. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do also is just look at the uh, look at the glove box latch. <laughs> I just had it working. Um, oh, there we go. This is not screwed in at all. There we go. Um, the uh, the chassis is gonna have the VIN number on it for sure, and that'll uh, that'll tell us everything. Oh, fun. Um, so yeah, we'll get on that, but maybe just maybe it's just a late model seventy two, and they switched over to that new VIN yeah, format. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to find info on that. A lot of stuff to do. Maybe some steering wheel choices too, huh? I do like the thin wheel. Yeah, that's that Chevy that's Comfort. That's like the right? classic, yeah. Yeah, that's but like kind this... of like a car, like a Camaro would have that wheel or something. Yeah. And then gauges too. Should we go keep the classic gauges and maybe just get new needles or should we go full digital? Yeah, it depends. I mean, even the Dakota Digitals, they kind of have that classic look. Yeah. So yeah, there's options there. I love that huge gas gauge. Can tell you when you're always empty. The gas tank is still behind the seats, by the way. Yeah. This is a functional gas tank. You're basically just sitting on a gas tank full of gasoline. I'd sit on rocketing that. down the road. For that truck, I'd sit on that. 
Yeah? You like this one, Ken? It's kind of like a dream truck. I mean, as a kid growing up, like that's all I'd ever want. Four by four, big tires, real American steel. Plenty of room to pack some sunscreen. I know, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you forget. You're driving cars and it's a lot of fun. That's true. That's true. What do you think, Reeks? I like it. It needs a handle so I can get in. Uh, what about like a step? Yeah, maybe an electric step that tucks away. Oh, I don't know. A good brand one? Or maybe that's just like the anti-theft device, like only tall guys can get in there. <laughs> um, I don't know, as far as it'll jump right up in there, no problem, as soon as this thing came well, off the truck. Well, my Suburban's like not short either, so I'm used to like swinging, the, you gotta get the swing on. Get the swing on. Hold, let's see if Riggs can get in. Yeah, dude! This guy is spry. Actually, look good in there with the long hair flowing, the corduroy hat, the vibe. You need some vibes, some pit vibes. Yeah, I love the flowing. Yeah, that's cool, huh? Yeah, I love these. We're definitely keeping these door panels. There's little stuff in here. Talking about maybe doing the gauges, that AC control. I think. I, I don't. I mean. It doesn't work, so it needs to be replaced either. It doesn't work. Don't think so, no. We were testing it earlier, so. Okay, well, then it needs to be replaced. That. Is that, uh, did you look under the hood? Is it vintage air? Uh, I have not. Okay. I'm just looking at this thing. What about moving the gas tank? <laughs> We'd have to reroute the exhaust, though, is the thing. So, we could obviously put it here, but, gonna have to make some room. So, Plenty of potential upgrades to the K10. Um, let us know what you guys think we should do uh, to upgrade this thing. It's going to be a giveaway truck, so we're going to be giving it away to one of you guys. This thing is so clean under here. Might need to upgrade some control arm. And then, of course, here's the 69. They had this thing out yesterday at the uh, airstrip as well, hitting some passes on uh, RM21. Um, can't say enough about the green on this charger. It's really cool. Gentleman's green, I think we decided on. This thing is just unbelievable. So that's our garage update. Uh, today's Tuesday, March 14th? 14th, man, that's, that's pretty good on the date. Um, and uh, we're still running triple entries on RM21. So if you want to get entered to win this 1969 Dodge Charger and $20,000 in cash, head over to Resto Mods, grab those entries. Uh, that truck you just saw is going to be a future giveaway. So uh, members are automatically entered as always. We're giving away a, a car or truck about every three months. Uh, you guys already know that. Um, so that's what we got going on in the garage today. Have a lovely Tuesday and uh, good luck as always.